Would you please rise and remove your hats from the plane of our national anthem? everybody to tonight's live stream <clears throat> round one of the playoffs here we go we got Benton the sixth seed with a record of 14 and 10 coming in versus Belmont the 11 seed with a record of 8 and 15 winner tonight will play the winner of Southwestern and Lafarge Youth Initiative that game being played over at Southwestern uh, if Southwestern wins that game the winner of this one will play at Southwestern that shot by Blaine no good uh, if Lafarge Youth Initiative were to pull off that upset tonight, the winner uh, of tonight's game would host Lafarge uh, in round two. Round two is, I believe, Friday. That's 24. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side of my roster here. I know the Benton kids. Waylon Paul skill for two, no good. It's going to take me a while to learn these Benton names, or the Belmont names. First game between these two was 62-37 in favor of Benton. Second game was a little closer with Benton winning 52-41. Chad Heffley for three, no good. Halfway down and back out. Zero over in the corner with a tie Paul skill. Gives it over to 24, Waylon, Paul Skill. We got a lot of Paul Skills on the floor. 12 for two, that was Tyler Simmons. 
Scoreless here, 16-39 left in the first half. That ball over to Rex Blaine, no good. Nice pass by Luke Jansen. Blaine just couldn't get it to go. Luke Jansen's a pretty good assist maker for the Benton team. That is one of the Paul skills for two. Whalen. Hefley in the corner, thought about shooting the three, went against it though. Gets it back out to Jansen, they're probably gonna move it around here a little bit. Out to Lawrence, Lawrence for two, no good, in and out again. Well, the Simmons, he gives it over to Paul Skill, Ty, to 24, Paul Skill. Back over to Simmons. Number 40, Case and Carey, just learning my name still. That rebound there by Hefley, he's gonna rush it down the court, gives it up to Lawrence. Back out to Hefley, he's gonna drive in for two, got it. <laughs> So I can basically just say like Paul Skill with the ball and I've got like a really good shot being right, right? Is that how this works? And that is Paul Skill with the ball and that ball knocked away by Lucas Jansen. Gonna be Belmont ball though. Officials tonight, not a local crew. That's how it works around one of the playoffs. Some of these guys get shipped far away. Um, just how it works. So this crew, I believe their names are Jeff Kentz, Matt Klutigs, and Jess Johnson. Simmons for two, got it. Hefley with it, drives in, gives it back out to Jansen. Jansen back out to Lawrence. Back up to Jansen's gonna drive in, try to dish it down low, nobody's there, goes back to Belmont. Over to Paul Skill, two, got it. 6-2, Belmont leads, 14-10 left in the first half. Hefley over to Blaine, Blaine tries to go up, loses it. Ball skill tries to go coast to coast. Doesn't get it, but Ty Ball skill gets the rebound. Puts it up and gets the end one. That foul was on five. Nate Lawrence, his first, team's first. So this is Ty Paul skill shooting the and one. Rebound by Nathan Kelleher. Out to Jansen, gonna shoot that three. No good. That's Simmons bringing it down the court, guarded by Jansen. He gives it over to Karen, Carey, sorry. Case and Carey. Join the two names together there. Yeah, we're gonna have another foul here. That's gonna be on Nate Lawrence, his second, team second. So he's gonna sit down for a while. Eli Blaine's gonna come in for him. Down to Paul Skill, no good. Blocked by Blaine and Kelleher. Benton tries rushing it down the court. It's knocked out of bounds by Belmont. Back to Benton. Thanks for joining us tonight. Give us a like on YouTube while you're here. Unless there's an upset in Hazel Green tonight, this will be our probably our last uh, stream of this the year. We're not going to stream any spring sports, so thanks to everybody that's joined us all year. We are going to be back for next year. 
As of now, that is the plan. Down here in the corner, right in front of me to Paul Skill. That shot no good, rebounded by Hefley. 12.40 left in the first half. Kelleher thinks about shooting it, but doesn't. Gives it out to Jansen. Long pass across to Hefley, can't handle it. Collects it. Gives it out to Blaine. Blaine's gonna shoot the three, got it. Good sized crowd here tonight for sure. See Troy Updike up there. Wish I didn't, ha, take that Troy. Troy's a good buddy of mine. Ball skill for three, got it. Jansen with it now, but moving it around a little bit. Gives it back out to Keller. Keller's gonna shoot that for three, no good. Paul scale with it out to Simmons right here. He's gonna move around up top. Gives it back over to Paul Skill, or the other Paul Skill. Back to Paul Skill. <laughs> this is getting confusing for me. Here we go. Long pass to uh, uh, Keller. Gets it back, but that ball's stolen. That's going to be a timeout for Benton. They're going to take a full timeout. I am going to mute. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in Wisconsin, because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. All right, be an official, please. Um, 13 to five here, let me get that scoreboard back up. Belmont leading us. 10.59, 10.59 left in the first half. That was Benton's first uh, timeout, first timeout for either team for that matter. I don't really keep track of that though, so later in the game I will have zero idea how many timeouts are left. There's going to be Lucas Jansen here, inbounding it to Eli Blaine. Benton's probably going to have to, I don't know much about basketball, they're going to have to get down low, and that's how you do it. Nathan Keller for two and one. That foul was on 52, Fisher Ludlam, who checked in. I missed that. His first, team's first. Shot by Kelleher. It's good. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. That's kind of like an announcer at a football game saying this guy never misses a field goal, right? And then he's going to miss him. Probably shouldn't have said that. Oops. Simmons with it right here. Catches a screen around the side there. Puts up the two, got it. Keller with it, gives it to Blaine. Gives it out to Hefley for two, no good. Rebounded by Belmont. Paul Skill with it, gives it over to Ludlum down in the far corner. Back out to another Paul Skill. I'm not going to learn which one's which, guys. It's just not going to happen. Tie, zero. Okay, I'll try. Wayland Paul Skill for two. Blocked by Rex Blaine. Another rebound there by Blaine. Ball taken.
taken away by Paul Skill and Ludlum. Benton have trouble getting passes down low, that's for sure. Belmont's really hammering them down low. Paul Skill, another block by Blaine. They get the rebound, put it up to Ludlum for three, got it. Nine minutes left in the first half, 18 to eight. Belmont leading us. They're just doing a good job of getting their hands on the ball, that's for sure. Kelleher with it in the far corner. Dribbles out, gives it to Jansen. Back over to Kelleher now in the near corner. Back out to Jansen, repeat after me. Jansen's gonna try driving in. Heffley out there for three, no good. Oh, and they're gonna get a foul on Eli Blaine. Couldn't uh, stop his momentum there. That'll be Eli's first, team's third. Nate Lawrence checking back in for Eli. Nate Lawrence has two fouls, remember. And number five for uh, Gavin Austin for Belmont just checked in as well. It's Paul Skill with it. Drives in, gives it back out to Simmons. Back up to Waylon Paul Skill up top. And we got an offensive foul on Belmont. Number zero, that's uh, Ty Paul Skill, his first, team second. Cameraman up top, the angle you're enjoying right now is Charlie Davis, Benton eighth grader. Has done this all basketball season for me. Does an awesome job. We got another call, this time going against Benton. That's on five, Nate Lawrence, his third, team's fourth. So they're going to send in number 40 for Belmont. That's Case and Carey. And uh, Nate Lawrence is going to go have a seat. Peyton Calvert coming in for him. 7.50 left here in the first half. That's Carey with it down low, gives it out to Simmons for three, no good. Hard rebound there by Blaine. They're gonna, I think they're gonna get uh, Gavin Austin. Yep, his first, team's third. I feel like the, uh, the scoreboard might be incorrect at the moment. I believe there's three team fouls for Belmont. It says two. I could be wrong, I don't keep them, so. I just go off of what the scoreboard says, but I'm pretty sure they have three. Nate Kelleher for two. That shot by Paul Skill, no good. Peyton Calvert trying to find the ball. We're gonna have a jump here. That's gonna to go to Belmont. First jump ball of the game. Hey, wait, Paul Skill for two, no good. Luke Jansen's going to be fouled. There's going to be a quick foul there on zero. I believe that's his second, Ty Paul skill. That is his second. And it, again, the scoreboard says three, but I'm pretty sure there's 14 fouls on, on Belmont. Could be totally wrong on that. You guys at home might have a better idea of that. Our scoreboard guy is pretty good, so I'm probably wrong. Blaine for two, no good. Off the back of the iron. Whalen's gonna drive down 
no good. Get his own rebound, no good. That time, Blaine grabs it. Switch cameras there, there we go. Blaine with it in the far corner, gives it up to Jansen, down low, nice pass to Kelleher for up two, no good, but he's fouled. He's gonna shoot two. 10 to 18, 6 12 left. Well, I'm just gonna go with what the scoreboard says for now. So that foul was on Cass and Carey, his first, team's fourth. Kelleher shooting two. First shot. Got it. Simmons with it, being guarded by Jansen. Out here to number 10, who's that? Carter Kettler, he checked in, I didn't notice, sorry. Uh, Kettler, 10, got it. Kettler with it down here in the corner. Gives it up to Carey, Carey's gonna try to back him down, goes up for two, no good. Rebound by Peyton Calvert. Over to Blaine, Blaine's gonna try the long three, no good, in and out. Nice hard rebound by Peyton Calvert. They're going to get a foul on Belmont, a reach. Calvert definitely had that one. That foul is going to be on number five, Gavin Austin. His first, team's fifth. No, his second, sorry. Now wait, did they give that to 52 or number five? The scoreboard says 52. I could be wrong again, I don't know. I thought the ref should have signaled five, but maybe he did one hand signal, I don't know. 30 second timeout by Belmont. So they gave that last one according to the scoreboard to 52. Fisher Ludlum, which would make sense because I don't think Austin was in the game. Um, so that's his second, team sixth. I think they fixed the, uh, I think I was right on the, end, the team fouls one and I think I was wrong on the end of, I think they just fixed that one, so. Sorry for the confusion. if you have a Southwestern update or anything. All right, here we go. 5.22 left in the first half. 15 to 18. Oh, I did not update the scoreboard with Hefley's last three-pointer. 15 to 18, Belmont leading us. They've been at 18 for a while, though. Things have slowed down a little bit, but they can still seem to get shots off down low, so they've got some good tall athletic kids there. The Paul Skill boys are getting some good shots at the hoop and Simmons does a good job of moving the ball around for sure. That is Ludlum down low with it. They're going to give it out here to Kettler. Back down to Paul Skill. He's covered by three Benton guys. And they're going to get a foul on somebody. They're going to give that one to Peyton Calvert, number 22, his first, team's fifth. So this is Paul Skill shooting two. Second shot for Paul Skill, no good. Nice rebound there by Hefley. I always threaten Chad, uh, I have him first and second hour in school here, and I always threaten him that at the live stream some night I'm gonna call him Heffel, because every other live stream calls and radio guy calls him Heffel. That's Kelleher for two. So I might just do it for a couple rounds here. Nice rebound there. We'll see if I wanna call him Hefley or Heffel. That ball knocked away by Lucas Jansen, out of bounds, back to Belmont. 4.15 left in the first half, three-point game, 
five team fouls for Benton, six for Belmont. Simmons with it, driving in on Jansen, gives it out to Ludlam. Ludlam's going to drive in, give it out to Carey. Why is my, oh, sorry, my score is wrong. I apologize, I am off, holy cow. I must have given a three for Chad Hefley before to Belmont. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. We're going to get a foul here on somebody again. Might be Peyton Calvert again. That was one of those ones I didn't know if they were going to call a foul or a jump ball. Yep, Peyton Calvert, his second, team six. So we're all bonus from here on out for the last 345 of this first half. Both teams are at six fouls. So the next one for each team will put them in the bonus. 98 viewers, awesome. Thanks for tuning in. This is Ludlum inbounding it, gives it up to Paul Skill. He's gonna drive the baseline, put up a two, no good. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Uh oh, that is what they called it on him, so it's not a foul though. Just uh, must have been out of bounds, I don't know what they called. Sorry. Not a basketball guy. It's Rex Blaine on the steal. Going up for two. Got it and one. That foul is going to be on 24, Waylon Paulskill, his first team seventh. Blaine's going to shoot the and one here. Nice rebound by Blaine there. Tries to give it up to Calvert. Calvert does a good job of wrangling that one in. Slowed things down a little bit. Out to Heffley, or Heffel, whatever you want to call him. Out to Heffel again for three. Got it. Luke Jansen guarding Simmons there, trying to steal the ball. Down low to Carey for two. Got it. That breaks a uh, run there for Benton. I don't know what it was. I think it was 18 to 8 at one point. So Benton was on like a 12 0 run there for a while. Blaine for three, no good. Rebounded to Jansen, fell right into his hands. Back out to Heffel for three. Got it. I might call him Heffel all night. Here we go, 2.08 left in the first half. That's Paul skill for three. Ooh, almost. Halfway down, came back out. Kelleher's wide open under the hoop waving, but uh, Heffel didn't see him, so that ball stolen. Give it up to Paul skill for two. That's Ty Paul skill. One forty left in the first half. Out to Jansen, down to Blaine. Blaine grabs it, puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, and he walks. Nope, never mind. They're gonna say he got fouled. My bad. I thought the ref was gonna say these these refs are doing a really good job, but they're they slow their hand signals. Is what I'm used to, so they like really. It's nice, I actually like it, but it throws me off. I thought he was going for the travel call and he was actually putting up some numbers. So that foul was on number 40. Case and Carey, his second, team's eighth. So Blaine's gonna shoot the one and one. Or did he say, they said he was shooting. <laughs> so he's shooting two. Don't matter, he made the first one anyways. Second shot for Blaine. One twenty-five left in the first half. Six fouls for Benton, eight for Belmont. 
This one's or, uh, Nate Lawrence with three. He's sitting on the bench at this point. Oh, jeez. Somebody's got to grab that one. Over to 31. Who's 31? Logan Hardyman. Didn't see him. I'm really bad at watching the Belmont guys checking in. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Peyton Calvert got wrapped up with the official down low. Didn't know what was going on. Ball skill for three. Got it. I don't think you guys can see it, but down on the far end there, uh, Peyton Calvert, one of the officials, got tied up underneath the hoop. It was like they're trying to get untangled. It's going to be an over and back on Benton. Thirty-seven point eight seconds left in the first half. We're going to have a timeout. Thirty-second timeout. I believe it was called by Benton. All right, Benton ball. Oh no, it's Belmont ball, sorry. <laughs> 35 seconds left. That's Jansen Garden Simmons. Belmont looks like they're going to hold for this last shot. 20 seconds. I'm still not in favor of a shot clock. Sorry if you disagree with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Simmons gets it off in time. No good. So we are tied 25-25 at half. I will, I'm going to mute, and I'll be back in a couple minutes.
All right. I want to know who tattled. Who told Troy Updike I was talking trash? I was very polite. I don't think I deserved that. So, just kidding. But I did get yelled at, so. Whoever tattled on me, shame on you. Just kidding, of course. Yeah, Scales Mount at halftime is down five. There are... Uh, they're down in Pecatonic, Illinois tonight. They're close to the state tournament in uh, Illinois, but not quite there yet. I think this is like their sectional week. Um, so they're down five at halftime. I do not have a score update on Southwestern at the moment. Um, and yeah, so we're 25-25 here. I do take pictures here in the uh, second half, so just for a little bit. So uh, bear with me while I do that. I got the blurriest picture of that three-point shot. Simmons for two. Let me a travel on Kelleher. Quick update, I have zero usable pictures. Every picture I've taken so far is blurry. I'll blame the camera. Even though it's not the camera's fault. Simmons for two, no good. Rebounded by Carey. Rebound there by Heffley. Heffel. Yeah. Blaine does a good job of wrangling that one back there. That ball taken away by Paul Skill. Goes up for two, got it. Shot there by Luke Jansen, no good. I'm still taking pictures. It usually doesn't take me this long to take pictures, but I'm on the struggle bus when it comes to that today. Nate <laughs> Lawrence for two. He's been pretty quiet. He came out and got two fouls right away, sat for a while, came back in, got his third one. So he sat most of the first half. Case and carry for two, no good. Definitely, uh, yeah, he carried that one. Fifteen oh eight left in the game. They're going to call a foul on somebody. I don't know who. Call it on Luke Jansen, his first team's first. Paul 
Roskill's gonna shoot too. I believe on Rex Blaine. So they're going to get a second shot at this one. Must be a point of emphasis this year or last year especially. There's been a lot more lane violations called, which is how it usually works when they have those points of emphasis. Oh, sorry. Wrong team. There we go. Come on. There we go. Nate Lawrence went up for that one, couldn't get it. Kelleher gets the rebound. Out to Jansen. Kelleher again. The ball. The ball. Lane for three, no good. Taken away by Kelleher. Oh, the Hefley, he gets pickpocketed though. That's going to be a foul on Lucas Jansen. He threw the body there into Simmons. So that's uh, Jansen's second, team second. Simmons for three, no good. Hard rebound by Hefley, and they're going to get a Belmont on a foul. I think they're going to get Ludlam. Yep. Fisher Ludlam, his third. Team's first. So he's going to go out, and Austin's going to come back in. It's Gavin Austin. Oh, Ludlum didn't go out. Never mind. He stayed in. <laughs> this is Paul Skill trying to drive in. Knocked out of bounds. Going back to Belmont. Time all scale for two. Trading shots here in the second half. Lane for two, no good. Whalen Paul Skill goes up and it's blocked. Uh, they're gonna call Rex Blaine, I think, for a body. Nope, they gave it to number two, Chad Hefley. His first, team's third. Whalen Paul Skill's gonna shoot two. Thirty-five, thirty-two, thirteen oh seven left. Yeah, they're gonna get a body. It was right down here in front of me. They're gonna get it on twenty-four. Whalen Paul skill. It's going to be his second, team second. Still trying to get pictures. Usually it doesn't take me this long. Hefley for two, no good. 
He's kind of like way back here behind the rim, behind the backboard even. I think I got enough pictures for all I need. Lawrence drives in. They're going to give him a charge. That's going to be his fourth. His fourth, team's third. So he's going to come out, and uh, Peyton Calvert's going to come back in. Twelve fifteen left in the half. In the game, for that matter. Austin out there for three, no good. Blaine has it, gives it up to Heffel. Heffel drives in, loses it. See, I gotta call him Heffel. In the words of Michael Scott, I'm not superstitious. But I am a little stitious. That's Ty Paul skill. Goes up for two. Gets it blocked by Blaine. And they call it a jump. I thought they were going to call that. It's going back to Belmont. Coming in for uh, coming in for Belmont is Simmons. He's just taking Austin out of the game. Simmons got uh, banged up a little bit earlier on a foul, stayed in for a little bit, went out and stretched. Looks like he's ready to go. He gets this one. He's going to be fouled by Luke Jansen. It's going to be Luke's third. Luke's third, team fifth. So Benton's got some foul trouble. Luke Jansen with three. Nate Lawrence with four is sitting right now. Both two, two starters for him. Keller almost with the reach there. That ball blocked again by Blaine. Blaine's got a lot of blocks tonight, and they have been all pretty clean. So Belmont's had a lot of nice chances uh, getting their hand on the ball as well. So clean basketball here tonight. That goes to Blaine for two. No good. 32, 35, 10, 50 left. Paul Scale loses his balance. Gets out to the other Paul Scale. No good. Wow. That's going to be a jump going to Benton. Ten forty two. We got a timeout by Benton. Full timeout. So I'm gonna mute. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Wisconsin. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the WIAA and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. All right, 10.42 left here. 35-32, Belmont with the lead. Benton with the ball. Keller for two, nice move. 
slip between two Belmont defenders there. Nice move by Nathan Kelleher. Pump fake. This is Whalen Paul still with it for two. No good. Rex Blaine got it. Every rebound on both sides has been a tough rebound. Both teams going for it. Every rebound is challenged. Heffel for three. No good. Oh, no. Not ball foul there. Lane for one. And one. That foul was on number 12. Tyler Simmons, his first, team's third. Blaine's got the end one here. We got a timeout by Belmont, 30 second timeout. Scoreboard back up, huh? Why didn't anybody tell me? Somebody should have called Troy Updike with that one, huh? But no. Tell him all the bad stuff, I say. 37-35, Benton leading. 9.30 left. This game has just been back and forth most of the night. Belmont started off with a pretty good lead. Ben came back, but then since then, we've been back and forth, back and forth on the scoreboard. That ball thrown away, going back to Belmont. Skill goes for two, no good. Carey gets a rebound, no good. Belmont still has though, that's Paul Skill again, no good. Rex Blaine gets that one. Blaine's got a lot of rebounds, that's for sure. 21, Nathan Keller. Nice pass by Lucas Jansen. Whalen Paul skill with it, gives it over to, is that tie down in the corner? It's hard to see the number right now. Paul skill goes up for two, no good. Gets his own rebound, no good. Rebounded by Kelleher, he's got that one. Scales Mound tied at 40 at the end of the third. Thank you. It's Nicholas Nice for that one. We have a foul. I don't know what it was. It's on Belmont. They called it on uh, Ludlum, Fisher Ludlum, his fourth, team's fourth. So he's going to go out. Austin and, uh, what is that? What is it? Uh, Kettler check back in. Blaine for two, no good. 39-35, 7.35 left. It's 
Waylon Polsky with it again. He's been a workhorse tonight for Belmont, no question about that. He's gonna be fouled here. They're gonna give that one to Nathan Kelleher. His first, team sixth. So Belmont will be shooting the one and one from here on out. That next foul will put him in the bonus. That's Paul Skill, tie going up for it, no good. Rebounded by Carey. Blaine leaves his feet, he knew he couldn't have done that. Buck gets good, and one. No arguing that one, he even turned around and admitted that one. Every junior high basketball coach across the country right now is yelling, stay on your feet, right? Don't leave your feet. It's a lot harder to follow that when you're playing, I'm sure. Carries and one. Good. One point game, 7-10 left. Blaine for two, jump back out. They're gonna get a body foul on Luke Jansen. That's gonna be his fourth. Oof. His fourth, team's eighth. So, Benton with two starters with four fouls right now. Luke Jansen, who's still in, and Nate, uh, Nate Lawrence is sitting currently with four. Paul Skill for the one and one, got it. He'll get another. Six fifty three left, second shot, got it. Yeah, Nate Lawrence was sitting at the table, the refs just didn't see it, so they're gonna They're gonna sub him in and Nate uh, Peyton Calvert's gonna go sit out. 41 46 53 left. Apple with it gives over to Lawrence. Keller with it, out to Heffel. Trouble corralling it, but he's got it. He's in the corner now, though. He's got to get out. Ball given up. Goes back to Austin for Belmont. This game's just going to come down to which team goes on a run last. There's no question about it. It's like it's been a game of runs. Or droughts, whichever side you're on. Three for Heffel, got it! It's gotta be his fourth three-pointer, I believe. I don't keep score here, but I believe he's got four or five three-pointers. Carey drives in, loses control, taken by Kelleher. Jansen with it, guarded by Paul Skill. Dribbles around, gives it back out to Heffel. Heffel for three, got it! Time out by Belmont, we're gonna have a full timeout. I'm gonna mute for that one. We are back, 47-40, after a couple uh, big threes by Chad Affley. Scales Mounds currently up by seven. Thank you to Kendra Botter for that update. So better second half there for the mound. 
down in Pecatonica. 5.20 left in this game. It's Whalen Paul skill with it. It's backing down Blaine, goes up for two, got it. Five minutes exactly left in this one. Lob pass down to Blaine for two. Nice pass down to Lawrence. Nice pass by Lawrence down to Blaine on that one. That is Simmons for three. Got it. Kelleher with it. Back out to Heffel. Heffel's going to drive in. Give it back out. Back to Heffley. He's going to go for two. Got it. Oh, no foul called. I like that when they let him play. You know, it was one of those ones where they could have called either one, I think, and they just let him go with it. I, I respect that. Kelleher with it. Back over to Jansen. Jansen tries to go up with it, gets fouled. I think they're going to call Case and Carey with that one. Yep, his third, team's fifth. So Benton with 18 fouls, and uh, Belmont with five. Two. Kettler with it. Out to Carey. Carey's going to pop for two. No good. Rebounded by Paul Skell. No good. He's going to be fouled on the way up. Who do they got here? Probably Kelleher. Or no, did they just. Yeah, they got the foul. Hold on. Yep, Nathan Kelleher. I think that's his second. Yep, his second team's ninth. So after this one, I think he's. Is he shooting two or is he shooting one and one here? Yeah, one and one. Um, so from now on, after this one, Belmont will be in the double bonus. Next foul will put Benton at 10. Rebound by Blaine. To Jansen. Benton's going to be content running some time off the clock, I would imagine. Up uh, seven with three minutes left. I don't think there's going to be any quick shots here. And Belmont's had some success stealing the ball, too, so I'm sure that they're not going to be in a hurry to foul quite yet. Right there, just like that. Tried to go into Rex Blaine, knocked away, taken by Belmont. Simmons with it. He set a couple big threes for him. Out to Carey, he's going to back down Blaine, go up for two, no good. Rebound by Blaine, another hard rebound. I like the way these refs are calling this, i got to be honest. Just letting both teams rebound it, but it's physical. I appreciate that. Nice pass down to Lawrence. He goes up and he's fouled by Simmons. His second, team sixth. So Lawrence is going to shoot two. Second shot by Lawrence. Good. Got them both, makes it a nine point game with 2.26 left. That 
That might be five on Lawrence. Who'd they call that on? I missed it. Yep, that's on Nate Lawrence. That's his fifth, so he's out. Double bonus. So Peyton Calvert's going to come in. Nate Lawrence is going to sit for the rest of the night. And Waylon Paulskill is going to shoot two. Double bonus time. Again, thanks for tuning in tonight. And those of you that have tuned in for most of our home games through the fall and the uh, winter season. Won't be live streaming in the spring. Um, but as of now, we do plan on being back in the same capacity next year for the fall and the winter season. So thanks again. He gets one. Makes it an eight-point game with 2.15 left. And Benton, or Belmont's going to have to get some steals or some fouls because Benton's not going to be in a hurry to shoot. Very physical game tonight, no question about it, but physical by both teams. Benton working it around here, Heffley with it right now, covered by two guys. Almost loses that one. Gets it down to Kelleher. Benton's run about 40 seconds off of this clock. And they're going to get a foul there. Uh, bad math. They ran about 32 seconds off of that clock. 33. I think they started with it with 212 left. That foul was on Paul Skill, number uh, Waylon Paul Skill, his third, team seventh. So Luke Jansen's going to shoot the one and one. Benton, um, not good at one and one on the free one and one free throws. I can tell you that much from the last couple weeks. Yep. They have struggled with those front end of the one and ones. That ball thrown away off the official and out of bounds. We're going to have a full timeout by Belmont. I am going to mute again. That's a uh, Benton sophomore Zariah Jones pretending to be a bull, apparently. And Izzy Dubuque, another sophomore pretending to be the bull fighter, I guess. That's a new one. I haven't seen a lot of that. Long pass down to Calvert, not controlled, goes back to Belmont. Minute and a half left, Belmont down eight. I need to put the scoreboard back up. Six point game, 120 left. Kelleher's not the one you necessarily want to follow. Him and the Heffley are definitely the best two free throw shooters for Benton. That doesn't mean much though some days. Some days we are not good at free throws. Keller is going to shoot one and one. This is the that was on by the way. Simmons, his third, team's eighth. Got it. That might be the first front end of a one and one Benton's made in a month. No joke. Second shot for Keller, good. a quick three by Austin no good and they're gonna get this one on 
They're calling this one on Belmont. On Kettler, his first, team's ninth. And I think that's Kelleher again. Nope, Jansen coming to shoot the one and one. So it wasn't where I thought the foul was. Just, again, I don't know basketball that well, so I was watching the ball and I didn't know what the call was, but I didn't see it clearly. So, so Jansen at the line, front end of the one and one. Got it. <laughs> Up nine, a one eleven left. I do not have an update on the Southwestern game, so no idea what's going on there. Second one, no good. But again, unless there's a big upset over in Hazel Green tonight, the winner of this game will go to Hazel Green for round two. Nice job by Peyton Calvert pulling that one back out. And he's going to be fouled. Peyton Calvert's going to shoot two. That foul was on number five, Austin, his second. Team's tenth. <laughs> Southwestern defeated Lafarge 82 to 16. 82 16 over in Southwestern. That one's over, so the um, winner of this one will definitely go to Southwestern. We got ourselves a 10 point game here with just under a minute left, so. Looking good for Benton right now. Um, that must have been an offensive foul called on Belmont. Oh, no foul, no foul. Must have just been out of bounds. They get it into Kelleher. Again, he's probably not the one you want to foul, but and they were trying to. They got Jansen, though, so Jansen's going to shoot, too. 35.3 seconds left, hard fought game. Uh, Belmont gave a great effort tonight, no question about that. Uh, very, very hard fought game by both teams. Thirty seconds left here. Long three by Simmons. Got it. Nice shot by Simmons on that one. We're gonna have a timeout full by Belmont. Coach Austin definitely had a good game plan coming into the night, no question. Belmont came out firing on all cylinders. All right, 20 seconds left, 61-52, Benton leading. So that about does it here. Again, great job by Belmont, great season by Belmont. Hard fought game tonight. Nothing to hang your heads about. Benton will be traveling to Southwestern, that means on, next round's on Friday, right? Yeah. Yep, on Friday at Southwestern. This is going to be Kelleher shooting two. Now look 
at these shoes. Okay. Oh, I can't see them. Can't see his shoes. All right, hold on. I'll kick back out to this angle. I mean, they are. They are, they are some crazy shoes. All right, sorry. I digress. He made them both there, didn't he? 63 52. 15 seconds left. Shot by Simmons. Off balance three. Nice shot, though. We're good. Rebound by Paul Skill. Got it. Six, five. They're going to foul Hefley. 4.7 seconds left. Getting a senior chant there from the Belmont student section. We got seniors for Belmont. Ty Paul Skill. Tyler Simmons, Waylon Paul Skill. Belmont's a young team, but those three definitely were big contributors tonight, so. Chance for some younger guys to step up next year and make some plays. Those three were definitely the leaders out there tonight, too. It showed. Four seconds left, so that ball, Keller is going to try to steal it, but no good. Three for them, no good. That's going to be our final here, 65-54. Thanks again for tuning in. Much appreciated. Benton will play at Southwestern on Friday night, 7 o'clock. Have a great uh, rest of the night. Thank you.